In this video, we will discuss how to apply separation of variables to problems concerning Newton's law of cooling. Newton's law of cooling states that the temperature of an object changes at a rate proportional to the difference between the object's temperature and the temperature of the surrounding environment. For example, we could think of a hot cup of coffee cooling on a kitchen counter. The coffee cools at a rate that is proportional to the difference between the temperature of the coffee and the temperature of the kitchen. To model Newton's law of cooling, we have the equation d capital T dt equals some constant k times the quantity capital T minus T sub s. Let's do an example with a bottle of your favorite beverage. The beverage was left out on the counter all day, so it's currently at room temperature, which happens to be 78 degrees. You put the bottle outside to chill, where it's 24 degrees. After 28 minutes, the bottle has reached 53 degrees, which is just where you want it for this particular beverage. Using this information, we want to find out how long it would take a similar bottle to reach 65 degrees. We'll start with Newton's equation, with 24 plugged in for T sub s. So we have d capital T over dt equals k times the quantity capital T minus 24. From here, we can separate the variables, putting capital T on one side and lowercase t on the other. This gives us 1 over capital T minus 24 d capital T equals k dt. Next, we integrate both sides. So we have the integral of 1 over capital T minus 24 d capital T is equal to the integral of k dt. The result is natural log of the absolute value of capital T minus 24 equals kt plus c. Raising e to the power of both sides, we get the absolute value of capital T minus 24 equals e to the kt plus c. So we now have the absolute value of capital T minus 24 equals e raised to the kt plus c power. We can get rid of the absolute value by redefining the constant c as c sub 1. This gives us an equation for capital T of T, which equals minus 24 equals C sub 1 times E to the KT. Next, we solve for C sub 1. Plugging in 0 for lowercase t gives us capital T of 0 equals 24 plus C sub 1 times E to the 0 power. We know that capital T of 0 is also equal to 78, since that is the temperature of the house. So, set 78 equals 24 plus C sub 1. Solving for C sub 1, we find that C sub 1 equals 54. Finally, we need to solve for K. Our current equation is capital T of T equals 24 plus 54 times E to the KT. Plugging in 53 for capital T of T and 28 for T, we can solve for K. K is approximately equal to negative 0.0222. We now have the equation for T of T. The final equation is capital T of T equals 24 plus 54 times e to the negative 0.0222T. We want to solve for T when capital T of T equals 65. This gives us T equals the natural log of 41 over 54, all divided by negative 0.0222. This is approximately 12.4 minutes. So, in conclusion, it would take approximately 12.4 minutes for the beverage to cool from 78 degrees to 65 degrees.